Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of this man and this woman, Jaden and Hannah, in holy matrimony. Father in heaven, thank you for family. Thank you for all the roots and deep, rich relationships that are here and for coordinating all this to get us to this moment. We call on you to be our help and to be the foundation, the foundation of this wedding and of this family and of this marriage. Jesus, thank you for your first miracle where you turn water into wine. We ask you to turn water into wine even now. You're still showing up for young couples now. Can you come here and do your thing here now? Amen. For the past six years, almost seven, this day has been nothing more than a dream. Today that dream comes true. I stand today a lucky man who has found their counterpart, someone more loving and caring than I deserve. For that, I thank God. When I look at you, I see my lifelong partner, oh my goodness, who always makes sure I feel loved every single day. I also see this 16-year-old boy who I fell so deeply in love with. The love I have for you could never wither but only grow. I will forever cherish this moment just as many other beautiful memories we have made together. Jaden, you have given me more love than I have ever dreamed of possible. Our love is so easy and I'm so ready and excited to be your wife. I promise to respect and cherish you, to love you unconditionally, to always be there for you and to protect you. I promise to always be your best friend. I promise to always be your best dance partner too. I will always cherish our love for each other and make sure the whole world knows just how much I love you. You are a dream come true, the love of my life and my soon to be wife. I love you. Jaden, do you take this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Hannah, do you take this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. I want you to remember the words of Jesus who said, what God has joined together, let no man separate. And we believe he has joined you together. That the two paths that have brought you here will be one moving forward. So now, it is my great joy that by the power vested in me by the state of Michigan, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jaden, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it from Mr. and Mrs. Scott. Father, thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your kindness, and your love towards us. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Uh, God, the beauty of your creation, and yet, God, even the evidence of the love in which your son has towards the church by the means of seeing Jaden and Hannah get married today. I've had the pleasure of knowing this incredible couple for about four years now. And let me tell you, in those four years, I've witnessed something extraordinary. A relationship that isn't just built on love, but on purpose and patience. Because if you've ever been in a room with Joe, Jaden, and I, you definitely need all the patience in the world. <laughs> Hannah, you are not only my older sister, but my best friend. When I was writing this speech, I tried to come up with every word possible to capture Hannah as a sister in just one word. From the moment I met them, I saw two people who didn't just fall in love, but chose to build a life together. They're the kind of couple that communicates, supports, and strengthens each other. 
Now to Jaden, the man who has decided to marry my wonderful sister. I can't express how grateful I am that you guys have chosen each other. I have known Hannah my entire life, and I can point out one time she has hands down been the happiest, and that is when she started falling in love with you. To Hannah, you're the rock, steady, unwavering, and always ready to tackle any obstacle in the way. You have this incredible way of making people feel seen and heard, even if you just met them moments ago. I have thoroughly enjoyed growing up with Hannah, and I hope you enjoy going, growing old with her just as much. To Hannah and Jaden, two people have shown us that love is more than just a feeling, it's a commitment. It's about showing up every day through the highs and the lows and choosing each other time and time again. May your life together be filled with love, laughter, and endless adventure. Here's to a lifetime of rowing together in perfect harmony. Let's toast to the official and beloved Mr. and Mrs. Scott. I love you guys. Woo!